Hello guys, welcome again. In the previous lecture, we uh, solved the linear equation for one variable. Now today we start the exercise 13.2. What we'll do here, here I take the two question. The question is constructing equation. How we form an equation? So first of all, construct an equation, solve the equation, calculate the size of each of the angle in this diagram and at the end check your answer so start this uh, from this question so you know the total angles in a triangle is equal to 180 so here are angle this x plus 20 degree x plus 20 degree and x minus 40 degree the sum so sum of these three angle in a triangle is equal to 180 so here is equal to 180 so these are all angles the sum of angle in any triangle is equal to 180 so you add these three angle and take is equal to 180 so first of all you solve the variable quantity and constant quantity at the second step here is x mean here is a 1 1 and 1 so here you write 3x so 20 plus 20 40 and minus 40 your answer will be drop here so is equal to 180 so next is x is equal to 180 when a number is multiplied by your variable uh, quantity then you take this number to the other side then you will divide so here will be 3 when you cancel the quantity your answer will be 60 so first of all first part of the question is construct an equation here is we have construct an equation then second one solve the equation you when you solve the value of fx or unknown quantity in the equation then this is called the uh, solution of this equation so uh, second is done so third one is calculate the size of each of angle so here is the first angle this one i calculate the size of this angle how you calculate the size of first angle you can write here first angle so first angle is equal to x plus 20 so x your answer is a 60 plus 20 this mean this is a 80 the second angle now we calculate the second angle second angle is equal to x plus 20 again so x plus 20 again you put again here 60 plus 20 your answer will be again 80 degree so you use the sign of 80 degree so the third angle is third angle here you write the third angle third angle is x minus 40 so x minus 40 is equal to x the value of x is 60 minus 40 so your answer will be a 20 degree so the part 4 have done calculate the size of each of the angle the part 4 is sorry the part 3 is done the part 4 is check your answer how you check your answer so when you check your answer you add the three angles the first angle is 80 the second uh, angle is also 80 and third angle is also 80 you add these three angle if your answer will be equal to 180 then your answer will be correct because the angle in any triangle the sum of angle in a triangle is equal to 180 so here is a 80 80 when add the 160 then add 160 80 is here and it is here your answer is uh, I think 80 and 80 160 so 160 and 20 your answer will be 180 so sum of the three angles is equal to 180 then it's a exact check your answer so the second question is the total angle of this diagram you know the uh, this is a quadratal the total angle of this diagram sum of the total angle is equal to one uh, 360 so you write sum of these all quantities 3x these all angles 3x plus 3x plus 40 you can use the sign of degree here plus 3x plus 5 plus x plus 15 the equal 360 degree the total angles of the quadratal is equal to 360 now you add this quantity if you don't watch the first video first I suggest you the watch the first video then you can easily uh, understand this so here we uh, solve this equation 3 and 3x is 6x 
and again 6x and 3x, 9x and this one is 10x. So 10x, so 40 and 5, 45, 45 and 15, your answer is 60 is equal to 360 degree. You can use the sign of degree in every, uh, in every number. So 10x is equal to 360 minus 60. So 10x is equal to, when you subtract, your answer will be 300. Then x is equal to 300 by 10. When you divide this quantity, your answer will be 30. So, you have done, uh, I think, uh, two step, construct an equation. You have done this one. And the second one is, this one is your equation. And the second one is, solve the equation. You have done. And the third one is, calculate the size of the each angle. So, you can calculate the size of each angle like this. You can put the first angle 3x. You put the value of like this, uh, like this first angle. First angle is equal to 3 into x then your answer will be 3 to put the value of x here the value of x is 30 so your answer will be a 90 degree so you write here the second value the put the value here the second angle will be you can calculate easily and so on third and fourth if you add like this all these three angle if your answer is the 360 then the final part of check your answer will be done Okay, thank you so much.